booze, I guess we could say. What, what are you selling? Well, we are having uh, whiskey and rum, gin, and there's only two distilleries on this planet that have fresh hop gin. And since Nelson is the hop headquarter in New Zealand, we try to highlight fresh hop gin from Nelson. They grow varieties that, that are selling out every year. They are sought after. And uh, we make three different gins with Nelson hops. And so it's called First Cut and it's also called The Cut. What's the story behind us? Um, the cut is a term from distilling. When you distill a spirit, what comes out first of the distillery is called the head, and you throw that away. What comes out next is the heart, and you put that in a barrel or a bottle, and what comes out last with some fusel, fusel oils, that's the tail. It is up to the discretion of the distiller to make a cut between head and heart and heart and tail. So that is where the, the, the cut is coming from. Uh, the rum we call the Cooper's Cut because my first occupation is a Cooper. I make the barrels where my rum and whiskey goes into. And the cut, um, in Nelson we have the longest boulder bank. I'm not sure of the southern hemisphere or the entire planet. And in 1910, they, they blew uh, they, a, a, a hole in the boulder bank so the big boats can easier go in and out of Nelson Port. And the locals called it the cut. And that's why we have a sailboat on our, our cut. It is part of the Nelson landmark. And we've just been looking at some of your fruit products as well. Oh, we have eight different fruit liqueurs. I believe I'm the only producer of a quince liqueur. I'm possibly the only producer of a nocino, which is a green walnut liqueur. And um, yeah, everything is local fruit from Nelson. And I believe I'm also the only producer of a absinthe. So what's in the absinthe? Absinthe is a anise and fennel and wormwood um, um, distillate. I've, a lot of the ingredients, again, are from my own garden. And we macerate it in brandy, which I get from local wineries. I get the wine from wineries in Nelson. I distill the wine into brandy and then I macerate um, botanicals in it and then it is distilled. It comes out clear and transparent as water from the still and then we macerate it a second time again with, with wormwood, um, mint balm and, um, and mint. What a lovely profession you've ended up in. Oh, I do it. I have a passion. I wouldn't want to do anything else.